In this video, we're gonna talk about the recent changes to Google Tag Manager, what exactly changed, how it impacts your tag deployment and what workspaces exactly are. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and on this channel we give you tutorials, how-to videos and newest developments on tracking just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now recently Google Tag Manager has announced new changes to their tool. And on the design side, there are a few changes that are worth talking about. And there's also one new functionality that is important to understand when it comes to Google Tag Manager. So in this video, we're gonna take a quick tour of the new Google Tag Manager. Let's dive in. Now let's start out with the rather obvious UI changes that were done to Google Tag Manager. Now, in previous versions, we had some design changes. When we went from version one to version two, we got material design, which is the design standard of Google. But in this version, we are more iterative and we find things like the overview screen was revamped. We also see a new publish screen, which puts forward more information when we publish a version and smaller changes like icons that we can see more over in the interface and the timestamps that determine when a tag trigger variable was created are now more visible in the user interface of Google Tag Manager. Now this should all make our lives easier, but the biggest change are really the overlays that are coming new to Google Tag Manager. So if you create a tag trigger or variable, you will see that there are slide-ins coming in from the right side that overlay on top of each other as you build your tags, triggers or variables. So as you click through the menus, they will build on top of each other. And this is kind of neat because we can now have a broader overview of how things are actually building up and how they relate to each other. And we can always go back in a step if we choose so. Now, in my opinion, the interface change will take some time to get used to. But as always, these changes also help us to navigate Google Tag Manager faster and more efficiently. So it might be worth the time and the wait and the annoyance maybe at the beginning when we are using these features. Now, the second bigger change are the workflows within Google Tag Manager. So as you know, if you build tags, triggers or variables, these always go through certain steps. Now, these are a little bit more visible through the overlays. So you know how they actually fit together. And Google Tag Manager tries to make you use the onboard features a little bit more. So for example, if you open up a new tag or create a new tag, you will see that this tag will be by default an undefined tag which indicates that you should put in a name. Right beside that we see a folder that makes you put in your asset into a folder, which is also a feature that was a little bit hidden in the old interface. And then if you create a new tag, you get these slide in menus that make you go back and forth between the last menu. So you always know where you actually are and how a tag is built. Again, the new workflow probably takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it's worth it in the end if we can deploy our tags faster and get a better overview and logical overview when we go through the steps of deploying a tag. So it might be well worth it. Now let's talk about our bigger functionality change within the new version of Google Tag Manager, which are workspaces. And this is really the attempt of Google Tag Manager to enter the enterprise space where you may have more people working on one account where workspaces really make sense. And it's a different version of the version control feature that we already saw in Google Tag Manager. So what are workspaces exactly? Well, workspaces are really just like container drafts. So you have worked with them before. The only difference being that you can build now multiple container drafts simultaneously. So another member of the team could work on these workspaces simultaneously as you are deploying other tags. And this is really useful because it gets rid of the annoyances of maybe overwriting other tags of other people who have worked on your account at the same time. Now, as a code version control system, just like Git, you'll be able to build multiple workspaces and then merge them together into a version later and publish that 
to your users on your website. And the new interface also takes care of any conflicts that might arise if you have not been keeping up with the newest changes in your container. So this is clearly an exciting feature for teams who are working with Google Tag Manager, especially when they're collaborating on multiple versions to deploy on their website. And Google Tag Manager really made a step into the right direction into the enterprise space in order to make it more convenient to handle such exceptions, especially when multiple people are working on one account. Exciting, right? And that's already it with this little overview on the newest changes of Google Tag Manager. I think it's really exciting to follow this product as it pushes forward in a tag management space. And I think there is more stuff coming in the coming of weeks. So if you want to follow along, then hit that subscribe button right there and we'll bring you new updates and videos every week. My name is Julian. Till next time.